Here's guest tonight I'm sure everyone is familiar with, unless you have had your eyes closed the past uh, several months. She is the beautiful new addition of one of television's most popular shows, Charlie's Angels. And Cheryl will also be a feature performer in the television special that Ben Vereen is doing uh, tomorrow night on, as they say. Well, who's, uh, who's always they? The folks upstairs. They seem to, as they say, <clears throat> as I said, on another network. Would you welcome, please, Miss Cheryl Ladd. Isn't that nice to hear all that? Sure is. Can I come out and do that again? <laughs> I think that's why we probably all get in this business. You know, you get it, it get applause really and, yeah, and get that reaction and what you're doing, people enjoy. Yeah. You know, when we booked you on the show, somebody said to me, says, do you remember when she was on before? I said, Cheryl Ladd hasn't been on the show before. They said, yes, she was. And I was ready to put a good sized bet down. And then somebody mentioned a name. And I said, now, I remember that name very well, because we discussed the problems you were having with yes, the name, right? Did, yes, Now, what was it, about three, four years ago? It was in 73. 1973. And I came out, and I uh, was introduced to Cheryl Stopplemore, which is my maiden name. Cheryl Stopplemore. And you said Stopplemore, Stopplemore. <laughs> Cheryl Stopplemore, <laughs> Stopplemore. Yeah. And we talked about that. Right. And I, and I did a song, and, and it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and look what's happened to your, yeah. in, your, in your life. You've had a fantastic... It's been a big change, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. It's, it's nice got, to be working. Uh, yeah, I suppose you get tired of all those questions saying, how did it feel to go in and replace Farrah and so forth, but you caught on and uh, everybody loves you and... Uh, um, it, yeah, I'm you, real happy about yeah. that. <laughs> you, are you girls jealous at all of each other? Is of there a course. Little, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, would you no, we're not. somebody to say, yes, I hate them both? <laughs> <laughs> Can't get along at all. I think a lot of people would, of course, like to think that we don't get along, but... Uh, well, that's, that makes good press. Yeah. You know, that's why, it I'm sure. It makes a good story, but uh, the truth is that we have a lot of fun together. Yeah. And they're both... You, I'm sure, met both the girls, yeah. and they're terrific they're ladies. They're lovely gals. And we have a lot of fun. But you see, that doesn't make a good story, does it, for the press? No. To say that all is well, go, well on the set, and all the girls that. love each other, and so forth. Did they try to get you into those questions when they talk to you, like there's something, always. something <laughs> going on behind the scenes? Always. I always say, oh, is that my child calling me? <laughs> I always try and get out of it. What kind of fan mail do you get in the average week? I get some very interesting fan mail. I can uh, imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. What, what is get, the age range I of got, the, the, the fellows who I imagine mostly it's from guys? No, not at all. I get... For uh, just a cross section, I got a letter the other day from a man, 52 years old, oh. married. That's, um, I'm, I'm 52. Are you? Yes, and married. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing me. You're bringing up my letter, but. All right, <laughs> oh, the guy was 52 and married. Now, what, now what, did he, what did he say? What did no, he want? He cared. Yes. Oh, what gosh. did he? What did he say? He was lovely. Said he had want, never misses the show. Watches it all the time. A big fan. Um, more bathing suits. That sort of thing. And the uh, I got a, letters from 12 year, twelve year old girls saying, you know, how do you do your hair and all of that. And uh, can I ask you one question mm -hmm. before I continue? When you said I got this letter the other day from a fifty-two year old man. <laughs> I got the feeling that you thought he was just this side of going to the motion picture country home. Uh, uh, that's been bothering me ever since. <laughs> not true. Not I guess true. it's just because you happened to hit my age. And I said, my God, what's wrong with 52? I thought, I, you know, 52 is pretty groovy. I'll straighten this out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, have you, you ever met a guy? more handsome 52-year-old man? <laughs> What a nice cop out. What a nice bailout. Anyway, so you're 52, <laughs> yes, a 52 year old man. And a 12 year old? Yeah, I got a cross section. I mean, everybody writes to me, which is really nice. How many proposals? Although you're the only one of the gals on the show that's really married, right? Not a lot of proposals. Yeah, because oh. I guess most people know that you are. Yeah, married, married and a mother. Lad, and right. David is my husband. You send out pictures all the time? Mm hmm. Now, how do you answer? Uh, and you really don't have to answer, but it's interesting because, as you know, um, a lot of the, let's say critics, for lack of a better word, okay. have said it's really kind of a voyeur show. People look in, and even some of the women's lib group says, well, they're just making the girls sex objects. They're putting, they're dressing them in scanty clothes and bikinis and bathing suits, and therefore it's nothing more than just really kind of a peep show. And, uh... Do you watch our show? 
<laughs> I have nothing against girls uh, <laughs> in, in bikinis. It's, uh, you all, I mean, obviously, a lot of people here watch the show. Um, sure. It's a terrific show. And what is terrific about it, as far as females are concerned, uh, these three ladies have very strong moral fiber. These three ladies are fighting crime. These three ladies also wear scanty clothes and While they're fighting have crime. new hairdos. <laughs> and that's what the show is. And um, I, don't, I don't know how to tell you except that... Uh, hey, have they asked you to wear something on the show that you felt uncomfortable or doing a scene that you thought was maybe yes. a little too... Uh, uh, Yes, but sexy. not because it was too sexy, but because I didn't feel it was particularly right for my character, Chris, no. who is sort of the uh, comedy relief in the show, who doesn't no. do a lot of the things right. Chris does get into those kind of uh, outfits. No, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but you've heard those, those comments, too. Okay. But, uh, yes. I, no, come back here. Look, slip, slip into your bikini and come right back here. We'll be right back. A 52-year-old man? Oh. oh, I'm never gonna let you off the hook for that. Never. Mm. How old is your child? She's three. Does she watch? Does she when she sees you on television, does she know at that age from well, Yeah, she watches everything yeah? that I do. I, so many of uh, our friends <coughs> and our old friends are, you know, making it and happening now. And yeah. she sees so many people in our living room on television all the time that she it's she's so blase. She about accepts it. it part of your own. You know, she watches The Wizard of Oz. Uh, the movie The Wizard of Oz, right. five and six times a day. I mean, she comes downstairs nude in my high heels saying, you know, you like my ruby slippers. I mean, she's, <laughs> she is just crazy about The Wizard of Oz. Television, uh, at that age, I wonder if they can s separate the reality from fiction. Dorothy's very real to her. Yeah. She wants Dorothy to be the new maid. Oh, <laughs> You grew up out here in Los Angeles, right? No. You did? In South Dakota, you know. Oh, you're on South That's Dakota. Right. South yeah. Dakota girl. Yeah. Did you want to come out here? First thing was, I ever wanted. Was really? Out. You had the. Uh, no, you only. Had. I didn't mean that South Dakota. No, no, no. You I didn't mean that South that. Dakota. I only mean because I just phoned back there, and they have not had a thaw in 60 days. It has been, you know. Dad said, "Well, it was nicer today. It was five below," and you know, I mean, people I said, "I knew I, I got it." I grew up in Nebraska, place. and people don't understand when they live out here and say you've had 40 straight days where it hasn't been above maybe 15 or 20 degrees. Yeah. And, uh, it's, it hurts. It's so cold. You get cabin fever. You're going to be on the Ben, ben Green show when, yes. tomorrow, tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. Now, you sang on the show before when uh -huh. you were here. Or did you sing on the show tomorrow? I do. It's, uh, there is no, no talk. There are no skits. It's all right. music, singing, and dancing. A special number written for Ben and I to do together about two kids struggling in New York going to classes, which, right. which we both did a lot of, and trying to make it and going on auditions and, and having disappointments and not right. making it. When are you going to come out with your poster? Now, that's a big thing now. Oh, my poster's out. Have you got a poster out? Yeah. Everybody had my poster. Is it? <laughs> oh. Well, you never said it's not in that's LA. my letter. Yeah. I haven't seen it out here. But it, is it out? It is out. Now, those are big sellers, aren't they? Have you seen it, Fred? No, sir. Well, it's terrific. It has, see, I'm in this. <laughs> what, 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 are you, what are you wearing in the poster? I am in a black. Is it black? A black top and some red running shorts. Windblown, very uh, healthy, all-American, Coca-Cola. Not too much... Uh, you do have that healthy, all-American face. You know what I mean? Yeah. No skin. What are you, you going to do with... You ever have to... You actually shoot guns on the show? You have to have to do that? Oh, yes, I do. You know, I had to learn how to surf. I had to learn how to ice skate. I had to do a magic Because it's an athletic act. show. Yeah, you do a lot of things. Do a magic act. Someday I'll do it for you. Well, maybe when you're 53. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it. I don't know why you pick on me about that. I really didn't mean I know it that way. Didn't. I think you're. It's all right. I'm certainly not jealous about it. No, I had to shoot me. this gun in the show, and I had never shot a gun in my life. I mean, I had no idea what a gun was, and so the prop master took me out between the two sound stages, and he loaded it up, and he says, "Okay, go." And I thought. Hey, nothing to it. I watched Starsky and Hutch. And I got in the position, and I pulled the trigger. I heard this blood-curdling scream. 
And it was me. <laughs> oh, you were. <laughs> I was never fired terrified. a gun before. I, it's loud. And then between the sound stages, it was really loud. And, and, and then I, it jerks, and it does all sorts of things you're not, yeah. you don't know that it's going to do. You plan to stay with the show for as long as, it, as long as it runs? That's right. It's a good show. And pictures? I'm learning a lot. Yeah. It's a terrific experience. Wonderful. It is, especially because you're down there. You, just, you put in long days, don't you? Yeah, I get up about 5.30 or 6 in the morning and yeah. work till 7, 8 at night. Yeah, hey, thank you for coming tonight. Tomorrow night is the special with Ben Vereen, and I know you have to leave early tonight, and, and thanks for coming. And send me the poster, will you? I will. Uh, uh, you all, too. My, <laughs> put, it up in my, put it up in my den at home. That'll teach me. <laughs> my Jim Neighbors poster. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming. Good night. Nice young lady. Yes, very nice. Ah. Oh, my golly. It's all relative. Of course it is. Well, you have a birthday coming up soon, don't you? Monday, yes. And people would not know looking at you that they you were wouldn't, are you well sure? into your late 60s. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a short break and return.